Today on Newsbreak. Ferguson reacts. We will have the latest reaction from Ferguson after no indictment ruling last night. The snow is back tonight. Take a pause with the details. All this and more on this Tuesday, November 25th, 2014. Good afternoon, SLHS. I'm Matea Katzbach. And I'm Luke Zuber. Let's go right into the coverage of the Ferguson court ruling last night, where the grand jury decided not to indict Officer Darren Wilson, who shot and killed unarmed black teenager Michael Brown on August 9th. Heated opinions on both sides of the issue, so let's get started. Let's start with the ruling first. Let's take a look at when the court ruling was announced. We determined that no probable cause exists to file any charge against Officer Wilson and returned a no true bill on each of the five indictments. From that point, the riots began to pick up steam. As you can see by the video and pictures from Ferguson last night, police were attacked by protesters. A police car was smashed in and started on fire near the Ferguson police headquarters. Tear gas and smoke bombs were used by the police to disperse the crowds. Now, of course, social media exploded after the ruling. Let's go over to Tyler Knudsen with the details. Yeah, guys, Twitter exploded after it was announced last night that there would be no indictment. Hashtag Ferguson was tweeted over 3.8 million times just last night, and that was just the tweets with that hashtag. Hashtag Ferguson decisions and others were trending as well. Do you think that Officer Darren Wilson should have been brought to the trial? Take the poll on our homepage for our website and we will share the results. But for now, back to you guys. Many people called for peaceful protests, including President Obama. More information on the Ferguson situation is available on our website. Alright, let's bring in Jacob Boss with today's weather. Jacob? You ready for some snow? Yeah. We just talked about that yesterday. Yeah, it's about time. I do got a little bit for you tonight. Alright. Should we go talk about let's that? Let's go check it out. Alright, let's take a look at future scan first and show what's going to be happening tonight. And as you can see, as we start out with around 5 o'clock tonight, that snow is going to be moving in about 7, 8 o'clock or so. And that's going to continue through the overnight hours, as you can see. And especially going into tomorrow morning, some scattered snow showers are still going to be possible. Uh, even up past noon tomorrow. And then take a look at the snowfall forecast. One to three is a, the main area there. A little bit more up to the north and east. And take a look at the high today, 33, so we'll get a little bit warmer. We've we got some clear skies to start now and the clouds are going to move in. And of course, bring that snow tonight with a low of 26. So it's still going to be warm overnight, and that's going to make that snow pretty heavy and wet as well. And then that snow continues into tomorrow. We're going to get windy tomorrow as well, but that heavy snow it won't blow around quite as much. And then Thanksgiving is going to be cooler, 15 degrees for a high, and then back up to 40 on Friday. So a big temperature swing there. And then back down to the teens for Sunday, and then back up to the 20s for Monday. So really a roller coaster forecast in the seven day forecast. But for now, back to you guys. Now let's send it over to Katie Revick with today's sports. The Spirit Lake girls basketball team captured their first win of the season last night. The girls were down in Sioux Central and both JV and varsity got wins. Good luck to the boys swim team as they traveled to Sioux City for a meet today. The Spirit Lake boys basketball team will be hosting a Hall of Pride scrimmage on Saturday. The first game will tip off at 5. Now to the dunk of the day. Uh, that is the look at sports. Back to you guys. Our brother in arms, Lanier, is having surgery on his knee tomorrow. Best of wishes. Thank you. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Have a surgical day. Thank you.